This video shows how to selectively start up all those extra programs that you'll find running on your computer. You get these almost every time you add something new to your computer and it pays to keep their growth in check. Um, if you let them go unbound what will happen is, is you'll eventually um, find that uh, your startup is taking longer. Uh, some of your resources are getting chewed up, especially memory. Um, most of the time you just plain don't need them. A uh, good example is I have this remote control. It wants to connect to the computer. And the program to detect it starts every time I run the computer. This is really a waste since I only connect the remote to it once a year or so. So I still want the program to be there when I need it. I don't want to uninstall it. I just want to keep it from starting up all the time. This is easy enough to do. Down in the start window, type in the word msconfig, okay, and you'll get a dialog. System configuration. There's all kinds of interesting stuff in here, but today we're going to go look at the startup. And uh, what we need to do is stretch each one of these columns here so we can actually see what the what what's going on no you can't you can't resize the window for reasons I'll never be able to explain uh, you just need to uh, grow the length grow the width of each column and the scroll bar in the bottom will uh, change will, will uh, you know change accordingly so you can scroll all the way across um, and sure enough here you see in the left hand co column uh, there are a lot of things that are checked. Uh, there's also a lot of things that are unchecked. These are the things that, of course, I don't run at startup, like the Bing bar, for example. <clears throat> Anyways, um, under the command tab right here, button right here, you'll see a lot of executables. And, uh, you know, they'll always end with the word exe. Uh, and sometimes they'll throw a uh, a parameter at the end of it, but uh, you can throw these that the, these words right at Google, and it'll tell you uh, what the program is, whether you need it or not, whether it's necessary, what it does for you, uh, and you know that from there you can decide whether or not you need that thing started up or not. Um, of course, unchecking any box will turn off. We'll, we'll just dis disable its startup without uninstalling the program. I suggest changing only one or two at a time because uh, you might start missing something that you really need and you might find out about it way too late. Uh, I actually keep a log of the things I change so I can back out my changes if I have to. You know. And uh, that way you keep control of, over what you're doing and uh, you won't be you know, bewildered by what the machine uh, is doing you know, over a short amount of time. Uh, when you restart the system, and of course this won't take place again until you restart the system, you may get a uh, your startup sequence has been changed dialog box. Um, you can tell it not to nag you with the message, um, you know, by checking a box. I usually keep it while things are in flux, while changes are going on. And then when I'm convinced that everything's uh, ironed out, I delete, you know, I, I have it not turned on and uh, I just go back to normal life. That's it. It's that simple. It's it's a really handy tool, and uh, it's 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 well worth its weight. Take care now. Bye.